Jehoram's awful death. Jehoshaphat was a good and wise king in Judah, but he made one big mistake. He allowed his son Jehoram to marry Athaliah. She was the daughter of Ahab and Jezebel. Elijah was living in Israel when Jehoram was king of Judah. A letter came to King Jehoram from the prophet. Elijah wrote, God says, You aren't living like your father Jehoshaphat or grandfather Asa did. Indeed, you live like Ahab and the kings of Israel. You've led Judah to turn away from me. Ahab did the same thing in Israel. Not only so, you killed your own brothers, and they were better than you. So God will bring a disease on you and your family. All your insides are going to come out because of this disease. <clears throat> the Lord sent the Philistines and Arabians against Judah. They took away everything of the kings. They captured his wives and all his children, but the youngest. Then the Lord gave him a disease in his stomach. It couldn't be cured. In two years, Jehoram's insides fell out. He died in agony. No one was sorry. Jehoram wasn't even buried with Judah's other kings. Okay, um, so as we recall, um, Judah had had a bit better run of kings than what Israel had been having once the 12 tribes split and the 10 tribes pretty much became recognized as the 10 tribes of Israel and the other two tribes were um, the tribes of Judah. Israel had a pretty bad run of kings with um, murderers and idol worshipers and things like that. Judah had had some issues, but they had had um, two very good kings, uh, King Asa and King Jehoshaphat, um, that were good godly men, led the people in worshiping God um, and following God's law and things like that. But uh, Jehoshaphat did have a son, and he had made a pretty significant mistake when it came to that son, and he allowed that son to marry Athaliah, and she was the daughter of Ahab and Jezebel. And if you remember, Ahab was one of the kings of Israel who did worship idols, and his wife Jezebel practiced witchcraft, and also made it her mission to hunt and kill God's prophets. Um, so letting his son marry the daughter of that particular couple was not necessarily one of the wisest things that Jehoshaphat could have done. And the Lord was very displeased with Joram. This is That was Jehoshaphat's son's name, Joram. Jehoram, sorry. Um, and when Jehoram became king, um, yeah, God was was not happy with his reign whatsoever. And uh, I told, told him, you know, you're living like Ahab and the kings of Israel. You're not following in the footsteps of your father and your grandfather and so forth. And um, so God basically ends up telling him, I'm going to cause a disease to come upon you. <clears throat> um, and your insides are going to come out because of this disease. That does not sound pleasant at all. But sure enough, it happened. Um, <clears throat> the Lord, after um, they had battled with the Philistines and the Arabians, um, and, the, and those people took away everything, basically captured and stole everything that had belonged to the king, then he, the Lord gave him the, that disease in his stomach. Um, and it took two years. It was a very slow, debilitating, and had to be a horribly painful kind of thing. Um, but yeah, ultimately, Jehoram's insides, his organs, probably intestines, stomach, those types of things, I would imagine, fell out 
of his body. That could not have been pleasant in any way, shape, or form. Um, says he died in agony, and I am sure he did. That is not natural. <laughs> that cannot possibly feel good. Um, but he obviously hadn't been a very good king because the pe his people weren't remotely tore up that their king was dead. And even at, at, at his death, they didn't even bury him with the other kings of Judah. So they obviously had not really thought very much of him and the job he had done as their king. Poor boy to die. 